Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, I will cover how to get started with E1 Cozy 131. Starting from downloading and installing required software like eBuddy and eCatcher, I will also cover creating and activating talk to m account, configuring E1 device in eCatcher and activating it and creating VPN connection. In case you are not familiar with the Evon device, it is an M2M gateway which creates VPN connectivity between your PLC and your computer. So you can access your PLC and HMI from anywhere in the world via Talk2M, which is a cloud-based remote connectivity solution. So let's first download the required softwares. Simply google it and you will find a link on the Evon's official web page. Now let us install both the tools one by one. eBuddy is installed successfully and now let us install the eCatcher. Installation completed. Now, here we will be required to log in with user and password. If you don't have a user account yet, then create a new one. Here I am creating a new account. Enter required details and valid email ID. And also enter a password for your account. In the next step, enter the required details like your company name, address, your working sector, preferred language and other details required here.
Once you enter the details, a verification mail will be sent to your registered email address. Check the mail and open the link sent for the verification. Once you complete the verification, your account will be activated and you can log in to your eCatcher tool. Now let us add our first device. Here you will be required to enter a few details like device name for which site it belongs. This will help you to identify each E1 device when you will be using multiple E1 across different sites. This is for your reference only. Once you enter these details, in the next step, it will give you a unique activation key. This key is required to configure in your E1 hardware. Copy this activation key and save it for later use. So our first device is configured in eCatcher. Now let us open eBuddy and connect your E1 with the Ethernet cable. Connect to port number 1. Port number 1 to port number 3 are LAN port. And port number 4 is by default a WAN port. You can provide internet either by WAN port or by Wi-Fi or by 4G SIM card. This depends on the E1 COSI model that you are using. Once your device is detected in eBuddy, right click on it and open it in the web browser. Default login and password to log in here is small ADM. In the next step, select your language. Now once you selected your language, select the internet option from the menu bar given on the right side. Select the interface option from which you would like to provide internet to this device. Here I will provide internet using Wi-Fi option. Click next. Here from the network selection option, you can view all the available Wi-Fi networks and you can connect to your preferred Wi-Fi connection. Here you can also decide if you want a fixed IP address or auto assign by DHCP. In next step, it will try to connect with the Wi-Fi and check for the internet connection. Connection successfully. You can also add 
additional internet connection by WAN. So in case your Wi-Fi fails, you can still access the device by internet provided by the WAN port. Now in the last step, copy the activation key that we have saved while configuring the device in eCatcher. Here it will check if the key you have entered is correct or not. And then few more other checks to ensure the connectivity. With this DI configuration, user can decide if they want to give remote access of this device or not. I will cover this configuration in my next video. In my next video, I will also cover more advanced configuration such as changing the device IP address, utilizing the digital input, configuring the PLC for remote access and remotely accessing the PLC. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with the latest industrial technology tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.